Hi guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can manage to swipe left or right on the mobile device. So let's get into it. So first thing first, you will need to create a script, a C sharp script. Let's create, uh, let's call it swipe. Let's call it swipe and open it in Visual Studio. So I open the script and first thing I want to have is so. I will create a serial variable. Let's call it camera. I need the camera, so I will create for this tutorial a uh, 2D camera. So let's create. Uh, let's call it camera 2D. So after I need a private vector three, uh, vector three, uh, start position, start position. Okay, and. Uh, last thing, I need to private uh, float uh, min swipe uh, slide on x. So um, I need these three variables. So I don't need the start function. So I will create another function. Let's call it uh, void handle uh, swipe. So, um, so now let's let's create our script. So let's create our our function. So if input, oops, if input input dot touch count is superior to zero. So basically, here what we gonna do is if we touch our device if we have um, we have a finger touching the device so let's create a touch a touch uh, variable so let's call it touch and it will be equal to input touch input dot touch of zero so here our variable is will be equal to our first finger will touch the device. After that, let's create another vector three, vector three real uh, word pause will be equal to camera two D dot screen uh, oh, so screen uh, to word point of my touch dot position. So basically, here what we uh, let's let's put it some commentary. So here we retrieve the position of the finger at any time. So retrieve uh, retrieve the position the position of the finger at any time. So just remember here it's a retrieve of um, uh, a finger of of my first finger. So even if I touch like with another finger, it will only take the first finger. So, so let's create a switch. Let's call it touch dot uh, phase. So here, uh, here we need to handle the phases of my first touching finger. So you got began and move. This is the main one we need to use cancel and stationary will not be used more often as as you can as you you will so just quickly uh, began is when it will it will count only the first time the the finger will touch the 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 mobile and is when your finger get off the mobile and move is when the finger is moving on the mobile so basically um, let's create. Let's enter the first um, the first phase. So touch began. So and let's put a break here. Okay. And so um, we will instance. We will not. Uh, will uh, give a value of my start position. So I want to be my start position to be equal to camera two D dot screen. Um, screen to word point to touch position touch uh, dot position 
Maybe you will say, oh, um, this one and this one got the same value. Here's the difference. Uh, here, it, because we call this one in update function, so let's call it right now, in update function, every frame, every every time we got at least input touch, so if every time we got one finger on the mobile device, this one will be every time um, update, but this one will be only get only one value. Uh, because it it is on big and face, and with that we can we can calculate um, our our swipe. So so don't worry, I will explain you later how this sync will work. So base so let's continue and let's handle the case of touch uh, end it. So in this phase, what we're gonna do? So let's put a break. Um, let's put break here. And so here we will create a new value. Let's create float um, float swipe horizontal value horizontal value, and this um, this one will be equal to uh, a new uh, vector three of uh, real word position dot x zero zero minus a new vector three of start position dot x of zero zero and dot magnitude and I think I forget this here and I don't need this one. So what does this function does is just return the length of my of my subtraction between uh, this vector and this vector and cause y and z axis are put zero he will just um, he will just calculate um, the the subtraction between the x axis so let me show you in one picture what he gonna do so uh, this is how uh, mobile working so you got the y axis here and you got the x X axis here. Even if you rotate the mobile, it will be the same. The Y axis will be like this, and the X the X axis will be like that. So, with um, with this uh, with this uh, this calculation, you just say, okay, if um, when I start uh, when I start my start position. So, if I press here, so let's say we are on zero 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 so let's put th third dimension it's not, it's not a big deal because we only work on two dimension with that so zero 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 it will be my first um my first position and my real and my real uh real world position will continue to be incremented so for example if i got like this like just imagine my my second uh, second vector will be 85 uh, one so I don't care about the y-axis, I just care about the x-axis. So 85 minus 0, it will be equal to 85. So my swipe horizontal value will be equal to 85. So with this value, I can say, okay, if, if my swipe horizontal value is superior to my mean swipe value of x, I need to put it. I can do something. So uh, with that, I know if I can, if I swipe left or swipe right. I, I know, I know, I swipe on the x-axis. So right now, I need to know if I swipe on the left side or on the right side. So for that, I will create another variable. So let's create a float swipe value. Swipe value. It will be equal to mat f dot sign of uh, real world position dot x minus the start position dot x and with that uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry it's not this so this value um, I can handle the sign of this calculation so if I take again 
my my picture so right here if my 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 sign of this calculation is positive it will be i swipe right if it's negative it's mean i swipe left that's it so so let's put it in this in the function so if swipe value is positive let's put debug dot log um, we swipe right and else else if uh, swipe value is negative debug uh, sorry debug dot log we swipe left and basically that's it so to illustrate my my function so let's create uh, another another not camera but game object let's create a cube so cube and uh, no, do not forget to put a minimum swipe so let's put this minimum swipe to 1.5 f for example um, so let's say if I swipe right so let's say cube dot transform dot position will be equal to cube dot transform dot position plus uh, vector 3 dot I think it's not back but uh, left uh, no, right there it is plus right and for the left value I will do the same so not right but left okay so let's test it so I forget to tell you in the in your project uh, you need to create a camera so let's create a camera and for is um, for his property so let's put not everything I don't need to to see anything put orthographic not perspective and for the clear flag uh, put depths only you don't need anything else because this camera will represent your your touch camera so let's call it touch camera and uh, you need to create a cube so let's create a cube uh, that will work fine and uh, and do not forget to put uh, remove the audio listener because you already got one in your main camera so let's put the swipe here so drag and drop your camera and your cube and last thing do not forget to go to on build setting and add your open send and swipe and uh, swipe your, uh, switch your platform so i will be right back so there it is this is the application run on my mobile device so as you can see if i swipe left or if um, i can swipe right and as you can see the cube is moving on the direction i want so that's it guys so hopefully this tutorial will be useful for someone if you guys like it just thumb up and comment below the video and let me know if you want me to do another tutorial and uh, i see you guys next time bye